Hello, welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making peanut butter cheesecake. So in your mixer, you're going to add three 8-ounce cream cheese blocks. You need to actually let them sit until they come to room temperature. It could be one to two hours before it does this. Once it's there and they're warm enough, you're going to want to add to this three-fourths cup of sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and two eggs. Now as the mixer is going, the beater may stick to your cream cheese. That is perfectly fine. You can stop it from time to time to scrape the beater and the sides of the bowl. You want to do this anyway to make sure everything is incorporated. You want to get the cream cheese as smooth as possible. Mind you, when you buy cheaper cream cheese, sometimes it's a little lumpy, but if you keep mixing it, you can make it smooth. So along the way, just keep breaking it up and making sure that it has not stuck to the beater and not stuck to your bowl. Once you notice that it starts to break up a lot, you can go ahead and turn the speed of your mixer up. That will help you actually throw it around the bowl a little bit more and break it up faster. And just remember, the more you're beating it, the warmer it's going to get, the better it will mix through. Once you get this completely mixed, you should have something to put this into, which basically you're going to get, uh, I got graham cracker, um, pie crust, which you can buy ready made at the store. And I always buy the extra large one. So that way, you know, you have room to mix because there's quite a lot in the ingredients that go into this. So you have plenty to make that size. Um, have it ready because once everything's mixed, you're going to want to make a layer in the bottom of that pie crust of the regular cheesecake filling. Because we're going to take part of it and put in and save half of it to mix for the peanut butter part. So as you can see in the mixer, it's starting to look quite smooth now. It's been going for at least a few minutes. Um, sometimes it takes that long to actually get it to a smooth point. You just have to work it. Depending on what the temperature is like, if it's a warm day outside or cold, or how the temperature is in your house, will depend on how it mixes. So now as you can see, I'm taking about half of this and putting it in the bottom of the crust. Once you get it in, you're going to want to smooth it out into a thin layer where it's completely across the bottom. You don't want it to have ridges because when you put this on, you want it to look layered when you cut it. So just take a spoon or a spatula and just smooth it around until you're about halfway up. Now you want to return the bowl back to the mixer and to this I added three tablespoons of Reese's peanut butter topping. That's going to give it a kind of a sweet peanut buttery taste. And then to that I'm adding two tablespoons of light brown sugar and then a third of a cup of smooth peanut butter. You want it to be smooth, um, it just mixes better. Crunchy, I don't usually use because it doesn't do a good job with this. And turn the mixer back on again because you want to blend all of this through until the whole thing looks like a lot of peanut butter. Then you're going to spoon it on top of the mixture that you put inside of your pie crust. And again, smooth it around until you've made an even layer all the way across the top. And there should be more than enough to make this whole thing coated with the peanut butter. 
um, it just works out with the way I did it to be an even mix between the white layer on the bottom and the peanut butter on the top so that way you get equal parts. Now as you're taking it out of the bowl, if you notice that in the bottom there was something that didn't mix through, like a little bit of the regular cheesecake, just stir it up. It'll go through. And once you've gotten all of it out, just go ahead and spread it across the top of the cheesecake. You're going to want to preheat your oven at this point to 350 degrees because when my oven does, it takes about 45 to 50 minutes for this to cook through. So depending on how hot your oven gets, it could take more or less time. So once you get it completely smoothed across the top, you're going to be ready once your oven has come to temperature to pop it in. And when it comes out, it'll look something like this. Um, sometimes they crack, sometimes they don't. It all depends on so many factors, but it doesn't really matter. Um, in a saucepan, you're going to add a half a cup of heavy cream and at least four ounces of chocolate. You're going to let the cream actually come up to a bubble. You want it to simmer a bit first, then dump in your chocolate, turn off the temperature, and just stir for a couple of minutes until your chocolate is melted through and it will form a ganache. Now it may take a couple of minutes for this chocolate to completely melt. If it goes past two or three minutes, that's okay. You just keep stirring it in because the bigger the pieces you put into it, the longer it's going to take to melt them in. Just keep stirring to make sure that you get it completely incorporated. And as you stir, you'll notice it starts to thicken. Once it's done, you let it sit for a couple minutes to cool, then you're going to pour it over top the cheesecake. Just get an even layer of it on there. Um, you don't want it to really run off the sides. You just want to make a large circle on top of the cheesecake. And when you're done, it looks something like this when you cut it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I'd like to see you on the next time. Have a great day.